Hello, this is a tutorial on processor in the loop simulation between the TIC2000 microcontroller and Simulink in MATLAB. This procedure will enable the verification of our control algorithm by generating code onto the embedded processor core of the microcontroller via serial communication. It will perform a single cycle execution and then provide this data back to Simulink. This will allow for the PWM to be generated and fed into the plant. In our model, the plant is a buck converter and our input signal fed into the MOSFET of the converter is of some duty cycle and frequency, adjusted in Simulink but determined by the output data of the control algorithm executed within the microcontroller. Here the systematic objective is to obtain the desired output voltage from the simulated buck converter. Because this is a closed loop control, the feedback or the output voltage from the buck converter is continuously compared to the set desired output and any existing delta is removed via adjustment to the PWM with the control for our specific hardware. So again the processor in the loop simulation will allow for us to test our control algorithm on the microcontroller by comparing the output received to the output expected. And we should expect our output to be the same with the embedded microcontroller as what is obtained from peer simulation in which the control as well is executed in Simulink. First we will open up the buck converter model that we created prior to the experiment. I will go ahead and run the simulation and observe the output. You will want to take note of this output as we will use it later in the experiment to validate our output from the pill simulation. Your computer will communicate with your microcontroller via USB. Before you can run a pill, you must connect your microcontroller to your computer and turn your microcontroller on. To generate code for our specific microcontroller, we will need to set several settings and configuration parameters first. So we will select this icon. Under the Hardware Implementation tab, we will select the appropriate hardware board. In this case, we're using the TI Delfino F2833X. Still under Hardware Implementation, we will select Target Hardware Resources and select, again, the correct uh, device name, F28335 in our case and still under this tab we will select external mode um, to set up our serial communication so we will select the correct serial port uh, if you're not sure you can find the uh, appropriate serial ports in your device manager in my case uh, COM5 will be the appropriate port and so I will adjust for that Next we will expand code generation and select the verification tab. Ensure that the enable portable word sizes is selected. Now we will go to the solver tab and we may adjust the start and stop time as desired. Now select apply and OK. We will now return to our code uh, this should have been provided to you. First make sure that your folder address is the correct one and that your buck converter model may be found within it. Make sure that your COM port is the correct one and also that your stop time is the same as what you configured it to be earlier. Simply select, copy, and paste each line of code into the command window and press enter to execute it, this first line of code. 
will allow you to call the model to open the file in the second line. We'll set the COM port. The third line will allow you to set the board rate or just how fast the computer and the microcontroller will communicate. The fourth line you will set to true as this will enable serial communication for the pill simulation. Next we will create the pill block with the rtw build command. This process might take some time as the block is generated so you may have to be a bit patient here. Once the pill block is generated, you may open up the buck converter model and replace the control block with the newly generated pill block. Now you can return to your code and copy, paste, and execute the out command into the command window. This will take some time as well. What's happening currently is the computer is establishing serial communication with your microcontroller. MATLAB is actually flashing your code or your control algorithm into the microcontroller. Once load and run done is displayed within the command window, the computer and microcontroller have successfully established serial communication and the processor in the loop simulation is functioning correctly. You can now observe the output of the pill simulation and compare that to the outputs obtained earlier. Are the results similar or are they different? I hope you can appreciate the benefits of the processor in the loop um, and that now you have the ability to test your control algorithm on your hardware and determine if the results are as expected.